vaginal bleeding during pregnancy is a concerning symptom that can be indicative of more serious underlying issues. There are several causes of vaginal bleeding in pregnancy including implantation bleeding, which occurs early in pregnancy when the fertilized egg attaches to the uterine wall. It is typically light and short-lived. First trimester bleeding, which is bleeding during the first three months of pregnancy, can indicate issues such as ectopic pregnancy, miscarriage, or molar pregnancy. Second and third trimester bleeding, which is bleeding during the later stages of pregnancy, could signal placental problems, like placental abruption where the placenta detaches from the uterine wall, or placenta previa, where the placenta covers the cervix. Other causes of vaginal bleeding during pregnancy are infections, inflammation, cervical polyps and trauma during intercourse. When faced with vaginal bleeding, it's crucial to seek medical help, especially if it is heavy, accompanied by abdominal pain, or associated with other concerning symptoms. While some forms of fluid leakage, such as increased vaginal discharge, can be normal during pregnancy, other types of fluid leakage, particularly if associated with specific characteristics, odors, or discomfort, can indicate underlying issues that may pose risks to both the mother and the developing fetus. Types of fluid leakage during pregnancy include amniotic fluid leakage. This clear, odorless, or slightly sweet-smelling fluid surrounds the baby in the amniotic sac. A sudden gush or a slow leak of amniotic fluid is a danger sign, as it can indicate premature rupture of the membranes or preterm labor. Increased vaginal discharge, often clear or white in color, is common during pregnancy due to hormonal changes and increased blood flow to the pelvic region. However, any significant change in the character, color, or odor of discharge should be reported to a healthcare provider. Some pregnant women may experience urinary incontinence, leading to involuntary urine leakage when coughing, sneezing, or laughing. While not directly related to amniotic fluid, it can be confused with vaginal fluid leakage. If you suspect your water has broken, whether it's a sudden gush or a slow trickle, you should contact your healthcare provider or head to the hospital immediately. Prom and preterm labor are serious concerns that require immediate evaluation and management. If vaginal discharge becomes foul-smelling, changes color, or is accompanied by discomfort, itching, or irritation, it may be a sign of infection and requires medical attention. Severe abdominal pain during pregnancy is a concerning symptom and is considered a significant danger sign. One of the causes of this pain is ectopic pregnancy. This occurs when a fertilized egg implants outside the uterus, typically in the fallopian tube. As the embryo grows, it can cause severe pain and bleeding, posing a life-threatening situation. Severe abdominal pain can be an early sign of a miscarriage. If accompanied by vaginal bleeding, this can be a strong indicator of a pregnancy loss. Placental abruption can cause severe pain and bleeding and is a medical emergency. While generally harmless, some women experience sharp, shooting pains due to stretching of the round ligaments that support the uterus. This pain can be severe but typically subsides with rest. Conditions like gallstones or gastrointestinal infections can cause severe abdominal pain and may require medical intervention. While some pregnant women may experience mild headaches as a common part of the pregnancy, severe or persistent headaches can signal underlying issues that need careful evaluation and medical attention. Common causes of severe headaches during pregnancy include hormonal changes. Pregnancy involves significant hormonal fluctuations, which can lead to mild to moderate headaches. However, severe headaches are not typical and may indicate an issue. Preeclampsia is a serious condition that can occur after the 20th week of pregnancy. It is characterized by high blood pressure and can cause severe headaches, along with other symptoms like swelling and visual disturbances. Some women who have a history of migraines may experience severe headaches during pregnancy. Migraines can be triggered or exacerbated by hormonal changes and other pregnancy-related factors. Pregnancy can make women more prone to sinusitis and allergies, which can result in intense headaches. Lack of proper hydration can lead to headaches. Pregnant women need to stay well hydrated. Pregnant women should not hesitate to seek medical advice when experiencing severe headaches to ensure their well-being and the health of their pregnancy. Any unusual and persistent alterations in vision should be carefully evaluated and addressed to ensure the health and well-being of both the mother and the developing fetus. Mild blurriness can be a common symptom due to hormonal changes, fluid retention, and the relaxation of the eye muscles. However, severe or persistent blurry vision is a concern. High blood sugar levels and gestational diabetes can affect the shape of the eye lens, leading to blurry vision. Proper management of blood sugar levels is essential during pregnancy. 
preeclampsia can also impact vision. Pregnant women with preeclampsia may experience visual disturbances, such as seeing flashing lights or having spots in their vision. Some pregnant women may experience an increase in intraocular pressure, potentially leading to glaucoma or other vision issues. Hormonal changes during pregnancy can lead to dry eyes, causing discomfort and blurry vision. Reduced fetal movement during pregnancy is a critical danger sign and should never be overlooked. Fetal movements are an essential indicator of the baby's well-being and health. While there can be variations in fetal activity, a noticeable reduction in movement can signify potential issues that require immediate medical attention. Causes of reduced fetal movement include dehydration. Maternal dehydration can lead to a reduction in the amount of amniotic fluid, restricting the baby's movements. Sometimes the baby's position in the womb or the mother's own position can temporarily reduce movement. Problems with the placenta can affect the baby's oxygen and nutrient supply, leading to reduced movement. If the baby's umbilical cord becomes compressed, it can hinder blood flow and movement. A reduction in movement may be a sign of fetal distress, possibly due to a lack of oxygen. The management of reduced fetal movement depends on the underlying cause. Continuous monitoring and further testing may be required to determine the exact cause and the most appropriate intervention. Experiencing pain or a burning sensation while urinating during pregnancy is a significant concern and should be taken seriously. Common causes of pain or burning sensation while urinating during pregnancy include urinary tract infections. UTIs are a common cause of painful urination during pregnancy. Hormonal changes can lead to urinary stasis and increase the risk of bacterial growth in the urinary tract. UTIs can cause discomfort and, if left untreated, may lead to more severe complications. Some STIs, such as chlamydia and gonorrhea, can cause painful urination. During pregnancy, untreated STIs can pose risks to both the mother and the baby. Infections such as yeast infections can sometimes cause external discomfort and irritation, including a burning sensation while urinating. Kidney stones can cause intense pain, which may be felt while urinating. Pregnancy can increase the risk of developing kidney stones due to hormonal changes and increased fluid retention. While fever can occur due to various illnesses or infections, it can pose unique risks to both the expectant mother and the developing fetus. Common causes of high fever during pregnancy include infections. Infections, such as the flu or urinary tract infections, can lead to a high fever during pregnancy. These infections can be more severe during pregnancy due to changes in the immune system and increased stress on the body. Viral illnesses like COVID-19 or other respiratory infections can lead to high fevers. It's essential for pregnant women to take precautions to reduce the risk of exposure to viruses. Other bacterial infections like pneumonia, appendicitis, or bacterial vaginosis can result in high fevers during pregnancy. A high fever during pregnancy should prompt immediate medical attention, especially if the fever is accompanied by other concerning symptoms, such as severe headache, abdominal pain, breathing difficulties, chest pain, or signs of dehydration. While some degree of swelling can be normal in pregnancy, excessive or sudden swelling of the face or fingers, also known as edema, can indicate underlying issues that require monitoring and, in some cases, medical intervention. Common causes of swelling of the face and fingers during pregnancy include fluid retention. The body retains more fluids during pregnancy due to hormonal changes. This fluid can accumulate in various parts of the body, leading to swelling, especially in the extremities, such as the fingers. Preeclampsia is a serious pregnancy complication characterized by high blood pressure and organ dysfunction, often marked by sudden and severe swelling of the face, hands, and fingers. This condition involves high blood pressure that develops during pregnancy, potentially leading to edema and swelling. Pressure on the blood vessels and veins in the pelvis and legs due to the growing uterus can lead to swelling in the lower extremities, which may extend to the feet and fingers. While some degree of morning sickness is common in pregnancy, severe and persistent vomiting during pregnancy, often referred to as hyperemesis gravidarum, can lead to dehydration, malnutrition, and other complications. Causes of persistent vomiting during pregnancy include hormonal changes. Hormonal shifts, particularly elevated levels of the hormone human chorionic gonadotropin, can trigger nausea and vomiting in pregnancy. The digestive system slows down during pregnancy, allowing for better nutrient absorption. However, this can also lead to an increased risk of nausea and vomiting. Women carrying twins or higher order multiples often experience more severe morning sickness and vomiting due to increased hormone levels and other factors. 
hyperemesis gravidarum. This is a severe form of morning sickness characterized by excessive and persistent vomiting. It can lead to dehydration, electrolyte imbalances, and weight loss. Persistent vomiting during pregnancy should be taken seriously, and prompt medical attention is necessary if vomiting is severe, continuous, and unrelenting, leading to weight loss and dehydration. Experiencing difficulty breathing during pregnancy is a significant concern that requires prompt attention. During pregnancy, hormonal changes can lead to an increase in blood volume, causing the heart and lungs to work harder. This can result in mild breathlessness, especially in the later stages of pregnancy. The growing uterus can displace the diaphragm, reducing lung capacity, and can press on the vena cava, affecting blood return to the heart. Iron deficiency anemia is common during pregnancy and can lead to reduced oxygen-carrying capacity of the blood, causing breathlessness. Pregnant women with conditions like asthma, heart disease, or pulmonary conditions may experience worsening symptoms and increased difficulty in breathing. Pregnancy is a miraculous and unique experience, but it comes with its share of risks. Understanding the danger signs of pregnancy is a critical part of ensuring a safe and healthy experience. Always remember that every pregnancy is unique and what's normal for one person may not be for another. Trust your instincts, prioritize regular prenatal care, avoiding risky behaviors, and open communication with healthcare providers are key to reducing the risks associated with pregnancy. Early detection and proper management can significantly improve the chances of a healthy pregnancy and delivery. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more content. And as always, feel free to leave any questions or comments down below. We'll see you in the next video. Stay safe and take care.